when you stay with the breath, it's medicine for the mind, a soothing medicine. The mind gets frazzled from all it has to think about and all it has to arrange and plan for and remember, and it needs some time to rest. But not just sleeping, sleeping rests in one way, but resting with alertness, resting with mindfulness actually strengthens the mind. This is a tonic for the mind as well. It gives it strength. It also helps treat its diseases, which are basically greed, aversion, and delusion. Because these are the things that run rampant in the mind, go running through the mind, burn things up, get you feverish, get the mind's stomach upset. And so we have to learn how to treat these diseases. And sometimes they're aggravated by things outside, but the, the germs are inside already. The tendency to have this disease is already there. The things outside are simply triggers. So you've got to work on your immune system. Once the mind is rested, okay, you have to develop some insight into why it goes out and lets itself get sick all over again. Why does it allow the triggers to set it off? That's where the insight comes in. That's where the discernment comes in. But in the beginning stages, the mind needs to rest with alertness so that its alertness and mindfulness get strong. They're the ones that are going to be doing the work for the discernment. And so it's good to have a way to rest that strengthens them as well. If you simply rest by going to sleep, mindfulness is nowhere at all. Alertness is nowhere at all. They don't get any practice. They don't get any strength. And they don't get nurtured by the stillness. So it's about keeping the mind still and alert at the same time. That's how you build up your resistance. And otherwise, you're simply treating your old diseases. You sit here and calm down. Things get soothed for a bit, but then you go out and you pick up the diseases again. You want to have the insight that allows you to see, oh, that, that is something that's going to trigger my, my diseases inside. I've got to stay away from it, or I've got to learn how to defuse it so that it doesn't have that impact anymore. And it's just the way that the mind gets treated for its diseases, and the meditation really is good medicine for the mind. It heals its wounds and then helps you from, prevents you from going out and creating more wounds inside. This is something we have to do every day, every day, to soothe the mind and to sharpen its powers of alertness and mindfulness so it can take care of itself wherever it goes.